Now, if you're using Photoshop and you don't have Adobe Bridge open, you don't have to necessarily open it to view all your files. What you can do instead is use Photoshop's mini bridge. So if we go up to the right hand top corner up here, you'll notice that there's a little red folder and it's called mini bridge. If we click on that, this is a mini window, which, is simply, uh, which essentially is a version of bridge, but inside of Photoshop itself. So this allows you to access all of your photos without having to actually open up another application just to view them uh, prior to choosing which photos you actually want to open up. So it saves you a lot of time and also saves your computer a lot of processing power having two different applications open up essentially doing the same thing. Um, so it is quite neat. It does have a lot of um, really cool features that you can play around with. So for example you can view just the images individually when you actually click on them, uh, things like that. So I find that really quite quite fun to play with. You also have some other options that are here, like you can show items in pages, uh, where you can actually choose to flick through the pages as opposed to scrolling. You can also choose to uh, show them as thumbnails, film strips, details and lists, etc. So you do have a lot of options there and you can choose to obviously expand the actual window that you're actually viewing it under, uh, as well as a lot of the other um, options that are available in uh, Adobe Bridge itself. And you can also jump through to Adobe Bridge just by clicking on the bridge icon in Mini Bridge itself to actually open up Bridge if you get a little sick of looking at your photos in this tiny little window. But having said that, it is really useful um, for playing around and opening up your raw files uh, without the hassle of actually having to jump into the full-blown version of, of Adobe Bridge um, and using up that additional processing power for, from your computer that sometimes you may just want, especially with these larger raw files these days, they just keep getting larger and larger and if you're editing multiple files at once, they can take up a lot of your processing power. So that's Adobe Photoshop's mini bridge.